Now OpenAI have really been raising the bar and adding some mind-blowing features to ChatGPT and in this video I'll be showing you some insane ways I use OpenAI's GPT-4 Vision for KDP research. So firstly, in order to have access to GPT-4 Vision, you do need to be on the paid subscription, which is only $20 a month, but you get access to GPT-4, faster response speed, and you also get access to browsing plugins, advanced data analysis, and DALI-3 as well. So there's several benefits to this subscription. So for those who don't know what GPT-4 Vision is, it actually gives ChatGPT the ability to read and analyze any uploaded image. So I've been testing this out in several different ways. And initially to see how it works, I just simply went onto Amazon, typed in Dr. Books for Kids, and then took a screenshot of these five books so that I could upload the image to ChatGPT. Then in order to upload it, all you have to do is hover over GPT-4 and then just make sure that it's on the default option. Go down to the bottom, this text box, and then hover over this little square image here. Then it's gonna tell you to attach the image, and then you just need to choose the image that you want. So I've uploaded the screenshot and asked it to explain the image just so I know that it can definitely read the image and it's provided all this detailed information. So it's actually given us a breakdown of each book. So the first book is a wild animals dot to dot fun which actually lines up and then it tells us that the bestseller is 12,854 category number six in a biology of wildlife so all the information that I'm reading so far does line up including the price even tells us about the delivery options and the age range and then it follows the same format for each book so number two which is a dot to dot for kids ages four to eight which you can clearly see that and then it has the BSR also of 4,173 and then it does the same format for all the other books. So this definitely does prove that it can read this information and provide a detailed breakdown. But on top of that, I wanted to see what kind of analysis that it can do. And I asked, which book would you suggest to create? And I was really impressed with the response telling me to create a book similar to the dot to dot for kids ages four to eight, a hundred fun connect the dots puzzles. And then it talks about the book's advantages. So a high rating and reviews with 539, the age group, which is four to eight. And then the content of a hundred puzzles. Then it gives us even more information about how to differentiate our own book and talks about thematic sections, suggesting that the wild animals dot to dot fun could have theme sections such as marine life, space exploration, or fairy tales. It also talks about additional activities if you want to add a coloring section, mazes, for example. Then I like the third suggestion of innovative designs using modern designs or popular characters that resonate with children today, which could be a really unique angle. And finally, it talks about interactive elements. Consider using QR codes leading to online resources, stickers, or augmented reality features, which I've seen a few books do. So it can provide that detailed analysis and give you different ideas you might not have thought of before. So I chose to take the advice and create a similar dot to dot for kids ages four to eight. And I copied and pasted the keyword into the Amazon search bar. And this reduced the number of search results from 90,000 when I just put dot to dot books for kids to 4,000, which is a lot less books to compete with. Then I took a screenshot of some of the best selling books under this keyword and then uploaded it to ChatGPT again, but this time I asked it to suggest how I can create similar best-selling book, and it's provided me with this insightful, detailed response, giving me a breakdown of what I need to do firstly for market research, so look into audience insight, competitor analysis, and trending themes. Then it's talked about content uh, creation, talking about quality, uniqueness, and educational value. Then it's given me an idea about design and illustration, talking about an engaging cover, quality illustrations, and how I should lay the book out. It's also given us information on publishing and pricing, then marketing and promotion, a feedback loop to encourage readers to leave reviews and feedback. And then it talks about staying updated, regularly updating the content or releasing new editions to keep the book relevant in line with current trends and preferences.
and you can delve down even deeper with the information provided. So I wanted to find out a pricing strategy for our dot to dot books for kids age four to eight. And it responded suggesting an entry price point of $6.99 to attract initial buyers especially if you are a new publisher in this segment. Then it's also talked about competitive pricing, that if you believe your book offers additional value, then you could price it at $7.99, which is at the higher end. Third is promotions. So this is just considering introducing the book at a promotional discount. And it gives the example of $6.49. Then after the first month, you can increase it back to the regular price of $6.99 or $7.99. And it also suggests that you're aware of additional factors and you can also consider bundle offers too. Now it doesn't stop here. I've asked it to provide me with some keywords. So I've uploaded the image again and just asked it for a list of 21 word short tail and 10 long tail keywords that customers of this audience would use to search for these books. And these short tail keywords you could use in the back end keywords and some of these long tail keywords you can either use as the subtitle or in the back end keywords if that's your strategy. And you don't have to ask it for 20 or 10. I'll just use this as a specific example. You can ask for more. Another interesting idea that I had was actually taking a screenshot of one of the popular covers and then asking chat GPT to create five prompts based on this book. So the exact prompt was suggest five prompts to create a similar themed under the C book cover with the title dot to dot book for kids. And it's provided us with five different ideas that we can use with a background, a main illustration and a title font. And you don't have to use any exactly as you come. You can mix and match the information. And I've taken parts of the prompt and I put it into DALI 3 in order to create a similar cover. And you can see two of the images that is created following the prompt and it's got the text right. And you can easily turn this into a book cover in Canva and add some of the interior pages to the back cover. But I do have a full tutorial on my channel showing you how to create amazing book covers fast with DALI 3. Now the final way I want to talk about using this tool is with the customer reviews. And to start this off, I just took a screenshot of one of the best selling dot to dot books for kids ages four to eight. And then I asked it to explain what it sees and suggest reasons why this book might be doing well. And it first provided me with key details from the listing. And then secondly, it gave me the reasons why the book might be doing well, focusing on the age group, the appealing design, the high ratings, the education and entertaining value, progressive difficulty, price point and variety. And I did this step first to give GPT-4 some context of the book that I'll be providing the customer reviews for just so that I could get more detailed analysis. Next, with that book on Amazon, I just scrolled all the way down to the bottom and got to the customer reviews. Then what you can do is click on any star rating. And then what it's going to show is the top positive review and the top critical review. Now we wanna focus on the critical reviews and take a screenshot of all of these, as these will give us further insight into the negatives about this book. So I uploaded it to ChatGPT and then asked it based on the book above and the customer reviews, can you describe ways to improve this book? And from this has given us more than eight interesting insights. And some of these we can't control such as perforated pages and thicker paper. As being self-publishers on Amazon, we can't control that, but what we can control is having accuracy in numbering, which one of the reviews pointed out, and then avoid pre-connected dots, which reduces engagement for the child. I like the idea of having clear age group targeting, explaining that it might be beneficial to specify a narrower age range or have sections within the book targeting different age groups with increasing difficulty. So I thought that was quite a good idea. In point five, it also talked about enhanced description. So to avoid potential disappointment, making sure that the book's description gives a clearer picture of what to expect. And the last two suggestions included a feedback page and inclusion of solution pages. So these are just a few of the amazing ways I've been using GPT-4 Vision. 
for research but it's just the tip of the iceberg let me know what you think of the tool and if you are interested in creating a dot to dot book of your own then i do have this video that supports you through the full process